Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. Today we're talking about the rarest skins in Rainbow Six Siege and some of the most expensive ones. These have actually been sold on eBay for over $300, sometimes topping out over $600 for a collection of just seven headgears and seven uniforms. However, these rarest of skins are now going to become one of the most common and easily purchasable in the entire game, wiping out their entire value and rarity. And these skins are board game skins. So Rainbow Six Siege has an official board game which is just drowning in controversy as the makers of the board game Mythic Games, who have completely messed up from the start to the finish and in fact, we don't even know when the finish line is going to be because they keep pushing back the actual release date and they keep charging their backers on Kickstarter even more money. However, at the start of the process, they did appear to be doing a relatively good job because they made some exclusive concept art for their game that would then be turned into actual in-game models by Ubisoft who would then give them as exclusive gifts to the backers of the board game and that actually happened which was really cool and people ended up with these extremely rare and exclusive skins and that's why they were sold on ebay from some of the backers even ubisoft's creative director of rainbow six siege at the time said that these skins were entirely exclusive to the game and as a result potentially only 13k people in the entire world would ever actually own them However, that then changed when Mythic Games said that actually they had misread the contract with Ubisoft and that they only had about two seasons of exclusivity, then they would be sold by Ubisoft on the store. Even when, like I said, Ubisoft's highest member of the team for Rainbow Six, the creative director, had said that they would be exclusive to the board game. And his tweet was definitely there to hype up sales. So definitely not a good look for Mythic Games and also not a good look for Ubisoft. And then on Monday, what I did was I sent out a tweet saying, wow, these board game skins actually haven't turned up yet and it already has passed that exclusive date. Maybe Ubisoft has actually, you know, done the right thing and decided not to sell them and keep them incredibly rare. However, less than 24 hours later, they started to appear on the store. The first bundle available is for Nuke. Now, some people have said that maybe I actually reminded them to sell them. I hope that I do not have that power and I'm also pretty sure that Ubisoft isn't capable of moving that quickly. So I don't think I remembered them to actually sell them, but uh, who knows, maybe I did. I just hope that I didn't and like I say, I don't think a corporation like Ubisoft, from my experience, is able to move that quickly. But anyway, let's talk about the Nook bundle that has appeared in the store because it has actually made some changes that we'll see in the other bundles as they appear as well. So first of all, it's popping on and off the store like crazy. It seems to be somewhat bugged out and it's sometimes there, sometimes not. And it's going for an R6 credit price of 1,512 R6 credits. And that means anyone who was wise enough to go on eBay and sell the codes for potentially hundreds and hundreds of dollars have actually walked away with a huge profit and now can rebuy these skins later at a far lower price. And be noted, this is with the 10% season pass discount. Then the bundle itself has also changed, as of course it's got the headgear and the uniform, which are relatively simple for this Nuke one. This Nuke one I think is actually one of the weakest ones out of the board game skins, because it mostly keeps everything default, whereas the rest actually do start to change the 3D models considerably. But what's new here is the weapon skins. These are not part of the board game bundles and the board game backers do not get these weapon skins. So with the actual purchase here, you actually get more in this bundle than the backers got when they spent a lot more money for the board game originally. And that's something I didn't know. I didn't know there was actually no weapon skins originally in these bundles. So those bits of artworks that I used in the tweet just a couple of days ago, I actually pulled off a Ubisoft's employees portfolio and if you go take a closer look at them again you'll notice they have weapon skins in the actual pictures so these are the new versions so the nuke one obviously is out right now but expect this ace one and this lesion one to also come out with these new additional weapon skins and in case you don't know the full range of board game skins was tachanka habana lesion maestro nuke Ace and Jaeger, with I think Nuke being the most basic one that was available. The 
The rest I think are far more unique and actually have like unique 3D models to them that haven't yet been used in any other bundles. So even if they do come to the store, they're still gonna have a little bit of uniqueness over what else is out there. But certainly soon you'll be able to buy seven headgears and seven uniforms and 14 bonus weapon skins for far cheaper than what these seven bundles were going for on eBay for between 300 and over $600. So congratulations to the people that sold these skins on eBay. You have made a very good profit and that was a great financial decision. And you'll now be able to rebuy those skins at a discount price if you want them. And it just makes me wish that I had actually backed the board game. It has been through so much controversy, but if I had backed it and then sold the skins, I could have walked away with an actual profit and maybe someday get an actual board game. And of course now buy the skins for cheaper and overall end up with a profit, but I never did back that board game, unfortunately. And that was mainly because I was not actually convinced the skins would ever get made, but it's funny that they did indeed get made, ended up getting sold for a huge amount of money, and then end up actually just end up in the game like any other cosmetic. Now through all of this, Ubisoft, as far as I know, has not put out any kind of official statement about these skins. The closest we've got is the creative director of Rainbow Six Siege at the time commenting on them and really putting out a hype tweet to help with sales. And then it's been simply Mythic Games from that point on saying that they misunderstood the contract, even though they plastered exclusive in big letters over all their stuff saying that these skins were exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. They still are, that's all advertised that way even to today. That they were then going to be sold at some point. And of course, they've also had major trouble with the actual board game itself to the point of where they've actually charged backers even more money with the promise that they'll still get the board game at some point in the future, which still does not have a release date. And then backers that have requested a refund are not getting paid back their refunds as well. So just a total mess by Mythic Games, which means you know, if you do see any Kickstarters by Mythic Games in the future doing any kind of board games, probably steer clear because that may not ever actually see the light of day. But I guess for the people who did back this board game and got the skins, you did have over six months to play around with them without anyone else being able to buy them, which would have made at least some very unique interactions with players because literally there was only a few thousand people in the world who actually owned these skins and were using them in game. So seeing them would have been extremely rare. And I know myself that I noticed only a few times when I had teammates who were running around with these skins. So it is kind of cool that they were unique for at least a chunk of time. Like I say, I don't like the fact that they're not actually exclusive. And even like just doing a recolored version or something like that would have been better than just putting out the actual ones from the board game. At least there would have still been some uniqueness there. And I don't think that would have been too much work for Ubisoft to have done. But anyway guys, the most exclusive and most expensive skins in Rainbow Six Siege will soon be some of the cheapest and most commonly available in Rainbow Six Siege.